Hey, you guys ready for another math challenge? I have one for you. It is a division problem. 800,000 divided by 24. There's a bunch of zeros here. Don't worry, we're gonna take it step by step. Easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it, yeah. All right, begin here. Okay, first of all, can I put 24 into eight? No, you can't. Can I put 24 into 80? Remember, we're taking this little by little. We're not looking at the gigantic number. We're just taking it step by step. So can I put 24 into 80? So let's, first of all, round 24 to 25. And, you know, and then how many times can I put 25 into 80? Well, 25 times three would be 75. And so I know I can probably put 24 into 80 three times. So off to the side here, I'm just gonna do a little figuring and I'm gonna take 24 times three. So four times three is 12. Put the one up here, three times two is six, plus the one would be 72. Just to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and do 24 times four. So four times four is 16. All right, carry the one, four times two, eight, don't be late, plus the one would be nine. So 24 times four is 96. That's too high. I need to go with 24 times three. So I'm gonna go walk over here and I'm gonna put the three right above this zero here because I'm dealing with this number here, 80. So three, now we're using multiplication, all right? So three times 24 is 72. I wonder how far I'm kind of doing the limbo. All right, get back on course here. Uh, three times 24 is 72, all right? And now um, I'm gonna go ahead and use subtraction, all right? I got that limbo now in my mind, so uh, maybe we'll have to do some more limbo later on today. So now I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. I'll put my line all the way over here. And now I'm, I need to borrow, so I'm gonna take one from the eight, so that would be a seven, and this will be a 10. 10 minus two, eight. So I put the eight right here, and then bring that zero down. Right there. I got 80, and I had 80. I, I, I don't have to do anything different, do I? I already figured that out right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a three right here. So three times 24 is 72 again. All right, subtract. All right, I know that when I subtracted it last time, it was an eight, all right? Okay, that's all right. Now I'm gonna drop that next number down. If you wanna do a little beatboxing with me, you can. Drop it down, drop it down. I like to draw a little line right there, just kind of helps me keep things in order. Again, we have an 80, all right? So I'm gonna put another three right there. So three times 24 would be 72. Come on, I know what the answer is gonna be. It's gonna be another 80 right here, okay? So I drop this next zero down. I'm just gonna do that line, so because I got a lot of numbers. Drop it down, going down all the way down here, here. All right, if you wanna sing or do a little beatbox along the way, you can. Again, we're gonna put another three right here because we're dealing with this one right here, this number here. So three times 24 would be 72 again. Subtract it with another eight right here. Drop that next number down. Drop it down, drop it down. <laughs> drop it down, drop it down, all the way down here. Woo, okay. I know the answer to this one again. It's gonna be another three. So I put three here, three times 24, it's gonna be 72. And I'm sorry about this, you've gotta to have to zoom in here because I'm running out of board space here. 72, subtract, and it's going to be, what's it gonna be? Gotta borrow here. You guys know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be an eight. 
little tidy eight. <laughs> Again, I don't have a big enough board, so I had to write small. That is, I, I don't have any other numbers to drop down. Sorry, I, I'm kind of missing out on the beatbox in there. That's my remainder all the way here. So I'm gonna take that remainder and bring it all the way over here. Come on, little remainder, come over here. And you are going to be my remainder. I put a little R right there, remainder eight. That's our answer. Kind of a crazy looking answer, isn't it? But it's kind of fun. Hey, I love doing division. It's like a puzzle, kind of relaxing, it's fun. Got a lot of other math videos, check them out. Sure appreciate it, hit subscribe. And I got this other outdoor channel. I need some subscribers on there. So if you like doing things outside like fishing or archery or just, you know, just playing around, seeing wildlife, whatever those things, check out that uh, link. I'll have a link down, hit that link up above right there and then check that um, website out. I'd sure appreciate it. Need some subscribe, some subscribe, some, can I, some, some, some subscribers on that show. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, so please help me out on that. Uh, also uh, put down something down in the, in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, what you're doing maybe on the weekend, what you like to do outside. And I hope you're having a great day. Talk to you later. Adios. Bye.